All right, back in the Pratt Pack gym. You know, I was just thinking, Bay Pirelli, who went to Kentucky, of course, Joe Namath's back up in Super Bowl three. Rochester High School football superstar, would be proud of his Rochester Rams coming off that win against Riverview, remain undefeated, and they just continue to march forward in the postseason, as would longtime Robert Moore's coach, former Beaver Falls Tiger, University of Pittsburgh, played with the Giants, great coach in the NFL for years, Joe Walton, Beaver Falls, also continuing on in the postseason. And we'll continue on tonight, Greg Diolis and I, at the Moon Township Brighton Hot Dog Shop talking all sorts of sports. And I'm going to get to some great sports news in a moment. But I want to talk entertainment to begin. Donk of shame. Remember that, of course, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Great song. Wayne Newton. We've got a rare treat, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Entertainment, Mr. Las Vegas. He is coming to the Palace Theater in Greensburg. I mean, the Midnight Idol, truly one of the last great showmen ever, the guy who made the Las Vegas Strip, and what an incredible talent. He can act, he can sing, he can dance, he plays dozens of instruments, and everybody that I have ever met who has seen him on a stage somewhere, the majority of them in Las Vegas, they say no matter when they have seen him, year after year, he just continues to give everything he has. And we're so blessed that he's still out touring. The guy just loves to entertain. He's been doing it forever. Of course, that song, Dunk of Shane, a signature hit for him. But Daddy, Don't You Walk So Fast, Red Roses for a Blue Lady. So excited about him coming to the Palace Theater. And you think about his genre. He sold them all. I mean, the Sinatras, the Sammy Davis Juniors, the Dean Martins, the Elvis Presleys, he was there shoulder to shoulder with every one of those giants and holding his own and still doing it today and looks incredible, sounds incredible. This is a must get ticket. November 26th, Thanksgiving weekend, he will be at the Palace Theater in Greensburg. So get to the box office, get your tickets to see a legend, Wayne Newton. And speaking of Wayne Newton, I am honored to say that he will join me on Rob Pratt Tuesday night on News Radio 1020, KDK on the Disc Institute of Pittsburgh Newsline, right after CBS News at 10. Can't wait. Wayne Newton. Now, sports. You got Baltimore and Cleveland, Thursday night NFL football. Ravens like the Steelers 4-4. Four and four. Cleveland is 0-9. It'll be at M&T Bank Stadium. And I got to tell you, Steelers facing Dallas on Sunday. Dak Prescott has been incredible. They are 7-1. So it's going to be a key weekend in the AFC North. Greg and I are talking more, not just about Baltimore and Cleveland, but about the Steelers and Dallas. We'll break that game down tonight at the Brighton Hot Dog Shop in Moon Township. What else? You've got the University of Pittsburgh Panthers taking on number two Clemson this weekend at 3.30 Memorial Stadium. You can hear it on 93.7 The Fan. Deshaun Watson, I just saw a mock draft today. They're saying he could be the third quarterback chosen. He is an incredible talent, but... Syracuse also has an incredible defense. So all of that tonight with Greg Diolis. Now I want to talk a little high school football. Just some key matchups. There's many of them, but just a few that you might want to look out for this weekend. And you can find everything at timesonline.com. In Class 6A, Central Catholic and Pine Richland are going to be a great matchup. And how about this one? N.A. Seneca Valley, always a good meeting between these two great schools. And in 5A, Bobby Palco's West Allegheny squad, just win, baby. That's what he does year after year. They are going to be in action against Woodland Hills. Also, Gateway takes on McKeesport. And in 4A, Thomas Jefferson, Bill Chirpak will go against West Mifflin. And then, of course, you have got a whole lot more exciting stuff in the way of high school football action this weekend, such as Newcastle taking on Ringle. Ringle out of the Mon Valley, the former high school of Joe, Montana. And then, of course, you've got 3A, the Quips. I'll tell you what, what a great season. Mike Smianic, maybe his best coaching ever, facing great competition week after week, choosing to play up. And, you know, they took a few lumps along the way, that game against Clareton, but they didn't fold. It was that old Quip spirit, never say die, and they just kept coming. And now they're going to take on Derry this weekend in the semifinals. And Beaver Falls, Ryan Massa, what an incredible job he's done with the Tigers. Nice to see the orange and black back on the map in a big way, thanks to that young coach. They're going to take on 
Keystone Oaks. So there you have it. Now the Pens, who've scored a point in their last seven games, they've been on a roll. They're 9-2-1. and one. Tonight they take on a very defensively-minded hockey team, the Minnesota Wild at the PPG Paints Arena. They will drop the puck a little after 7. We will break all of that down tonight. Moon Township, Brighton Hot Dog Shop, Greg DeOlis and I. But before that, I'm so honored to be at the beautiful Marriott, and I love those properties on Aiton Road up there in Coriopolis, right off the Montour exit. I'll be with Joyce Bender and Lee Hatzinger from Bender Consulting Services, Inc. What they do is incredible for people with disabilities. You will meet them tonight with me right here after I am honored to stop by their wonderful gathering as they celebrate Thanksgiving a little early in a big way, and they've got a big message and mission that I want to tell you all about later tonight. So it's going to be a busy night for your Pratt Pack. And one other thing, you know, Veterans Day, and you've been seeing the Air Heritage Museum, all those wonderful pieces that Paul Schilling and I put together. Still one more to come tomorrow. But I want to give a little bit more love to New Brighton native Joseph Mudgewit, a special breed of warrior. Great book, okay? Link into him on Facebook, wherever great books are sold. This is one that you do not want to miss for Veterans Day. Be a great gift for someone who served. A great way to say thank you. Now, on Rob Pratt Sunday, in the first hour, right after CBS News, we're going to go to the phones. President-elect Donald Trump, President Obama meeting today. And I started thinking about the transition until he becomes sworn in as president on January 20th, first day in office the 21st, his cabinet members and where he's going Listen, it's time to be excited now. It's time to support our president and the future president, the 45th of this country, Donald Trump. So we're going to break all that down in the first hour of Rob Pratt Sunday, and your calls are always welcome. Then Dr. Sean Ritchie, Family Chiropractic Health Center, he will join us. This guy does an incredible thing for people with neuropathy. If you're dealing with it, you do not want to miss Dr. Sean Ritchie coming up in the 6 a.m. hour on Sunday. 7 o'clock, Doug Oster, Jessica Wallace from the Tribune Review, your organic gardeners, and then stuffing recipes mm -mm, with Joe and Frank Dentisi on the Coons Cooking Hour. Jim Meredith back in the air chair hosting Heffron Tillotson, your money and you. And then we are back on the road at one of my favorite places, the Coons Market on McKnight Road. And if you have never seen their cafe... Folks, you got to make a point to go out there. Even if you shop at the other Coons Markets, the other eight, just go try this cafe. You won't believe what they have. And I've told you before, over 600 varieties of your favorite beers, micro brews, craft beers, any kind of beer you could ever imagine, and maybe some you didn't even know existed, they do a wonderful job there. It's a great way to get revved up for that Steelers-Dallas game. That's right, get all your stuff, your chips, your dips, your peanuts, your pretzels, all of the great things that you want to take home and tailgate at your house, or maybe you're going to Heinz Field. And of course, that wonderful beer, we always ask you to be responsible. Yellow Cab of Pittsburgh or Uber, or if you're in my neck of the woods, JB Taxi. Still is, by the way, 425 at Heinz Field Sunday against Dallas. But come on out and spend time with us. Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday show at 11. Then we roll inside the cafe for the video, the show after the show on Facebook and YouTube. We'd love to have you drop by and enjoy a cold beer, get something to eat, and talk a little sports, okay? So it's going to be a wonderful Sunday, but it's going to be an even better day today. Lots of stuff still to come, and I hope that you will come back and check us out later. Have a wonderful day from your Pratt Pack.